Well, anyway, I would like to explain why this course is going to be taught in English and why we copy the location to this very fancy, brand new um, auditorium. Um, my name is Jack Barokas. I'm from Computing Division, and I'm in charge of uh, video recordings, digital media in, at the university. And we do record uh, courses for the students so uh, they can support the face-to-face -face learning. And at the same time, we do content for distance learning. And this course is going to be recorded for and also financed by EU program by the name of EduNano. This is a program that we started almost three years ago and we are in the final year. We already have developed 20 uh, online courses. The aim of this project is to build uh, courses on nanotechnologies to be shared among uh, universities. Most of the universities of this consortium are Israeli uh, universities and we are actually the beneficiaries of this program. Um, in the consortium, we have all leading Israeli universities with uh, nano centers, starting from the south, Be'er Sheva, Weizmann, uh, Hebrew University, Tel Aviv. Um, then we have Technion, and we have also one big commercial company, Elbit. All of them are producing courses, and most of the courses are ready, and this course is going to be one of these courses as well. Other than Israeli universities, we have three universities, one from EU, one Politecnico Torino, which Danilo will talk about it in a moment, his part on this project. We have a um, great big consortium uh, in, in uh, Grenoble, France, which they have uh, uh, large facilities on nanotechnologies, clean rooms, and we have the Technical University of Sofia, which are the coordinators of the, this project. Tel Aviv University is the local coordinator of the project, and we do all the coordination in Israel, which is most of the activity of the project is in Israel. So uh, you can benefit of this, of course, by watching the lectures. The lectures will be on the project LMS. I will send you an email with the initial password, then you can change it later. It's a different model, not the model of Tel Aviv University, built specially for this project. And if you want, I can give you also access rights to other courses in this uh, um, LMS. But uh, the, the videos will be uploaded to this uh, uh, LMS. You will be able to watch them. And for us, it's very important to, get, to have your feedback because we would like to um, fine tuning the courses uh, to do the best that we can according to your, um, your feedback to improve the courses. So please. Uh, if you have any comments on the technical quality of the courses, the recordings, any other content, you are welcome to write in the form of the uh, LMS. We are also opening a chat, especially for the students. Uh, Yossi Shaham haven't uh, uh, reminded, but we have also a lecture from EPFL, which uh, Danilo will probably talk about it, about him later. And at the moment, we, are, we have almost 25 or 30 students from other universities other than Politecnico Torino. We have students from Hebrew University, Barilan University, and probably some from Technion, which will follow this course uh, online. And we will do each week a live webcast of the course. So thank you for your cooperation. Now. OK, do you hear me? Okay, so nice to see you. Good afternoon, guys. It's a fantastic pleasure to be virtual in Tel Aviv, one of my favorite places in the world. Next time, I will be physically there, so I will be more happy, of course. But now uh, I want to just say a few words about uh, me and my colleague that Jack mentioned before, Sandro Carrara from EPFL Lausanne, uh, about who we are and uh, what we will how we will contribute in your course. Um, I'm uh, Danilo De Marchi. I'm a professor at the Politecnico di Torino, that is the technical school of Torino, northwest of Italy. And uh, I'm teaching at the master degree the courses of CAT for microsystems and bio micro and nano systems. And uh, in the PhD school of Politecnico di Torino, I'm teaching nano electronics. Uh, I have a course in the EPFL Lausanne 2, that is the course in nanocomputing, where I'm teaching in particular the module 
related to the use of biomolecules for computing. And uh, this, uh, what, what I just said about the fact that I'm teaching in EPFL, it is clear that I have a very strong link and historical cooperation, in this case with Sandro Carrara, who is a teacher in EPFL. He teaches uh, in uh, EPFL, the course in BioCMOS uh, interfaces and sensors. Uh, and so uh, both of us will contribute um, teaching part of our courses uh, and also sharing with you our research, um, taking uh, uh, the, um, the knowledges that uh, Professor Shachan will give you during this course. I share my screen, may I? Because I want to show you a few slides so it becomes more clear what I want to talk about. Do you see it? Yes? Okay. So, uh, well, as I told you, mm, my affiliation is Politecnico di Torino, the Department of Electronics and Telecommunications. And uh, in particular, in this project, I will uh, um, talk to you about uh, this uh, approach that we are using here, of course, because we are in a course, I will also do some general introduction to the concept, in which we started working in linking the microchips, so CMOS chips in this case, uh, to nanostructures. Um, it means that, for example, this is a CMOS chip, where down here you have the electronics, and on the top of the CMOS chip is possible to build electrodes and uh, connecting these electrodes with uh, functionalized uh, nanowires directly with molecules, you have a possibility to build on the top of silicon chips sensors and uh, sensing devices. You see here some, uh, some examples of uh, what I just told you about and uh, in uh, particular, one for reaching the nanoscale, what we set up in Torino is a technique for building nanogaps. Um, and of course, I will go in details of it. So my concept will uh, exploit the, the knowledges and all the processes, technologies that Professor Shakam will, will teach you during the course for uh, showing you some uh, applications of using CMOS chip, not simply for electronics. You see here, down you have the electronics, but on the top of it, you have electrodes on which you can put uh, your sensing devices. And this is one of the first examples that we, uh, we develop here in Torino, where we put some uh, organic molecules, conductive organic molecules, in the middle of our nanogaps, which is a nanogap, and with the system done by us, uh, we, uh, um, we built some sensor and some also devices for molecular electronics. Um, and you see here one example that I will show you in details. Uh, it's a recent uh, um, publication we have in which we set up system for sensing UV temperature and pH in, a, in, a, in the same, in the single uh, device. You see here, we use a nanowire inserted inside this nanogap. So this is basically the concept of my part. I will start from uh, the basic um, knowledge related to how to build nanogap, how to build nanoprobes in general, and after I will pass how to use them and how to integrate them with CMOS electronics. Passing to a part that Professor Carrara from EPFL will, will do, I took some, uh, I take some of his, uh, of his slides of, of intro, the first lecture of introduction. As I told you, Sandro is part of the uh, of, uh, la, 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 laboratory of uh, system, in, integrated system at EPFL, and uh, he's teaching this course. I, sorry, I want to stop it, okay. 
um, on electrochemical nanobiosensing and biocMOS interfaces. So um, the, the, the is topic will be related to nanobiosensing and uh, the interfaces again with biomolecules and CMOS. Um, so I skip some slides. What I want to show you is this. Of course, what I'm talking about is uh, uh, our activities, our researches, our actions that are absolutely highly multidisciplinary. So we will talk about of life sciences, of physics, of engineering, and electronics. Um, his goal, of course, is to make sensors. And uh, uh, in EPFL, they built a very interesting integrated chip for detecting glucose, cholesterol, and other proteins, and also, in case, some DNA sequences. And uh, he will show you how to prepare the silicon surfaces for um, building biosensors. Uh, the motivation of what he will show you is exactly this, to prepare silicon chips, to use silicon chips with label, but, of course, one of the most important challenges is to do label-free. Um, molecules for being detected at the top of your silicon chips, but I'm mentioning silicon, but why not? Also now we are talking of uh, glass, we are talking also of other materials, and so this is the industrial motivation of what uh, Sandro Carrara in particular will talk you about. I want to show you this, what I mentioned before to you, exactly the biochip that Sandro Carrara in this, uh, in this group, uh, they develop in, uh, um, in EPFL Loza. So, um, this is, I stop sharing my screen. Okay. Okay. So, this is what, this is what, this is what uh, me and Professor Carrara will contribute inside this course. If you have any questions, I'm here, and uh, I'm happy to join you as soon as possible. Camilo, thank you very much. I have to figure out how to switch now to the, so we are now switching to the class lectures. So I would like to thank you. And are you staying on the Skype? Well, I, I, I'm leaving to CERN in Geneva today. Oh so I have to leave you. I, I must be there uh, tonight before dinner. So uh, I have to salute you. I'm sorry. Salute. So, so enjoy the lecture. And, uh, and uh, I will see you soon. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Thank ciao. you. Ciao, ciao. Bye, bye, bye.